can tune to that silence. So today in this webinar, we are going to discuss about the topic, listening to the tune of silence. So those who are joined for the first time, let me introduce Brahma Kumari's Godly University. So this is organized by IT wing of Prajapita Brahma Kumari Godly University. There are more than 20 different wings where Brahma Kumaris are doing this godly service, out of which this IT wing is the sister organizations of Brahma Kumaris, that is Raj Yoga Education and Research Foundation, RERF. And this IT wings providing this service in many sectors of IT industries, and the Brahma Kumaris are established in 1936, and our headquarter is at Mount Abu, Rajasthan. The main objective of this particular IT wing is to bring the internal transformations, how, you know, from human being, human doing can transform into human being. And it has specially given benefits to professionals working in the IT fields, industries, Organizations like uh, Google, Microsoft, TCS, IBM, Reliance, many more IT organizations got benefit from this service. And through this webinar, more than 2000 plus sessions are conducted and many IT professionals are benefited. So to know more, to know more about our organizations, you can visit to www.bramakumaris.org, bramakumaris.com, and you can also visit bkitwing.org. So in today's webinar, we are fortunate that Brother Datta is with us. So welcome, Brother. So brothers are Brother is associated with Bramakumaris since 2010. And uh, he is a personally empowered coach, and he is the facilitator of the Meditation Laboratory program for a decades. He accomplished the author of the transformative book, Healing Hearts, 90 Days of Self-Reflection. And uh, he is a facilitator, certified personnel facilitator, ARC. He has completed BCom from Pune University, Executive MBA in Marketing. Belgium, Certified Personal Empowerment Coach, Certified Master Spirit Life Coach. In today's topic, listening to the listening to the tune of silence, brother is put more lights on it. So let's welcome brother to this webinar. Brother Datta, over to you. Thank you. Om Shanti and a very good evening to everyone. Aap sabhi ka aaj ke is evening session mein bahut bahut swagat hai and the topic today is listening to the tune of silence. So are you all ready to experience this tune? Yes? Are you in the midst of some noise? I would request you all to come into a space which is very quiet so that we can make the best use of this time together and you can explore, experiment and experience silence. Yes. So as we begin the session, uh, I would like to first share a very short clip of this one video, which will help us first understand what silence is. Okay. And then we continue with our session today. Okay. So just give me a moment while I share this video with you. And
can be silent while speaking. Silence is not an absence of sound. Silence is a space that gives the mind oxygen to create high quality thoughts and vibrations. Our habits of creating too many way thoughts and too many words exhaust the mind, stealing its oxygen. In 2011, the self-development So it was just a quick intro, okay, a warm up maybe to this topic on tuning ourselves to this power of silence and experiencing it. So what the objective is to just reduce the number of thoughts that we have in our mind so that we experience that power. So first of all, I would request you to sit back, relaxed and comfortable and take a deep breath. And I want you to notice all the noises around you, maybe at far distance. Notice each and every noise that you can hear and slowly bringing your attention to the noises around. As you're paying attention to all the noises, slowly, slowly bring your attention and feel your feet on the floor. Slowly, slowly bringing your attention to your breath. Feel the air going in and out. As you breathe in and out, you're making yourself comfortable with each breath, releasing all the stress. Your shoulder is relaxed, your body is relaxed, and you're getting more and more comfortable and at ease. Taking your attention inwards, now look at the screen of your mind and look at all the thoughts, all the files and folders which are open. You're just observing your thoughts, looking at all different files and folders. One by one, let us close all the files and folders. And you see this blank screen now, wide open, making you more and more comfortable. Now open yourself for all the possibilities and opportunities that the universe has to offer you. Open yourself to learn, to explore, to experiment. Invite yourself completely, mentally, physically, emotionally, here in this room. Feel your presence completely in this moment, inviting yourself to a new experience. Completely relaxed, comfortable, and at ease. Take a deep breath and your attention back here in this room. Thank you so much and welcome. Once again, I welcome you. So now you're completely present here with me so that we can now start the session with 
that comfort and ease. Okay, so I just have a short presentation so that as I'm talking, it becomes easy for you to connect with me and understand where we are. Okay, so in this particular topic today, our objective is to raise that awareness about what silence is or what silence does. There are a lot of thoughts going on in our mind, but how to kind of control that speed, take charge of our, of our own self, take charge of our emotions, okay? And this will allow us to explore ourselves in a different way. And this power of silence will help us be more mindful, actively listen, completely engaged, and it will help our communication. You know, it will help us enhance our communication and how we can also integrate silence in our day-to-day -day activities in our lives so that it is not so difficult, okay? So how we can do it, what exactly to do, how to do, uh, we'll just explore it in this whole session, okay? So today's agenda is very, very simple in just four points. One is to understand and explore the power of silence, to experience it. Explore what inner stillness is and how to embrace silence in everyday life. And there are some reflective exercises. So the idea is to pause and how to hit that pause button, when to hit that pause button, and is it really practically possible? We'll just explore all of these, okay? So to begin with, as we are listening to the tune of silence and embracing the stillness for inner harmony, uh, when we talk about silence, it's not just, you know, staying mum or going to a place where there is no noise, but it is more about me taking charge of myself completely, even my thoughts, my feelings, my emotions, everything. And very important is what is the conversation I have with myself? And what is the quality of thoughts that I have? Is the con conversation that I'm having with myself is uplifting me, energizing me, or is it demotivating me? Am I sharing that energy with others, which is very, very positive? Or is it the energy which is negative, not useful? So let us explore it and how we can make the best use of this power of silence, okay? So as we're starting the session, okay, I just want you to hit that pause button. I'm not going to say anything right now. I just want you to close your eyes just for 10 seconds, okay? So... There's no commentary, okay? There are no added thoughts. I just want you to sit in silence for 10 seconds. Thank you. So was it easy to hit that pause button? For many of us, if you're practicing meditation, it's easy, yes, it's easy. But if you're not pause, uh, practicing meditation, then it is a very, very challenging task. And why is it challenging? Because maybe we haven't explored it. We haven't experimented ever with this power of silence unless we are forced to do it. So very important is to practice this very often and how to do it or why to do it. To understand that, let us understand what are the benefits of silence. We have heard, we have heard a lot about it, okay? But what exactly it does? So if you are just hitting that pause button, even that can help you reduce your stress levels. It will help you improve your focus, your concentration. 
it will improve your creativity your problem solving abilities it will help you take control of your emotions your well being you'll have a very good sleep and i'm not just saying it just for the sake of saying it but there is a research backed up jab hum silence mein baithte hai to kya hota hai if you just close your your if you just you know uh, zip your mouth okay automatically you start reflecting aapko ye bolna nahi padega ki aap meditation karo reflect karo automatically it starts and that is where you are actually connecting with yourself even better and stronger now the question is am i asking right questions to myself because if i'm asking the right questions to myself then it is definitely going to help me be a better person help me evolve be a very good leader and of course i can have very good relationships with everyone so there are researches which talks about the benefits of silence uh, there are studies which have actually helped there was a research conducted by luciano bernardi and his colleagues at the university of pavia and they found out that period of silence between the music tracks that resulted in lower heart rate decreased blood pressure and people felt very very relaxed after listening to that music where it had pauses in between it where there was absolutely silence aapne sune honge bahut sare music tracks tracks jahan pe bahut sari awaaz hoti hai aur beech mein thoda sa kuch pal jaise bilkul ek pause hota hai silence hota hai and that is actually very much healing very soothing relaxing and you feel very very nice after listening to those tracks you feel much better so that is the power of silence especially if there is noise you just take a break you take that pause and you feel better in that pause there is this is about stress releasing stress then there is also a research which says that if you're doing too much of brain work if you're thinking if you are uh, doing lot of uh, brain work okay even then okay there was a study published in a journal of uh, psychological science that revealed that exposure to silence for 2 minutes increased their participants performance on subsequent cognitive tasks as compared to the exposure to the background noise there let there be any noise in the background but still if you take that pause of you know a minute or two that can do wonders like if you see on the screen there is the image of this person playing chess so if you have seen the chess players uh, you see they are not constantly in that action mode there is a lot of brain work and you will see that they take those pauses in between after that move one or the other move okay before the next move they wait pause go back to the silence think and then they come back so you see they are very focused they know what to do when to you know Uh, go for the next move so that they are more and more focused when it comes to creativity and problem solving of course there is another research which says that silence can foster creativity and facilitate problem solving abilities as well there was a research conducted by ravi mehta at university of illinois and uh, a moderate level of ambient noise akin to silence which was very close to silence that helped then enhance their creative thinking and generate innovative ideas and uh, even in the corporate programs i have personally experienced that especially when we are having this uh, brainstorming sessions if we just take that pause of 10 seconds 1 minute and again we ask them to uh, brainstorm there are interesting ideas flowing and so so creative that everyone is amazed that oh wow this was something amazing something magical so because these moments of silence actually help us to be more and more creative we come out of ways which we have never imagined and that is the magical experience that we experience so these moments of silence allow make to break new connections process information think more abstractly and you enjoy this whole process so definitely silence is a very very powerful tool then when we talk about our emotional regulation and well being silence also creates space for that introspection as i said 
when your mouth is shut automatically you start reflecting there is a lot of introspection so silence activates the areas of brain associated with self reflection and introspection okay so that you you get into that reflecting mode you start asking questions to yourself and you think through the situations and you come up with interesting ideas and your relationships are much better especially if you see if there is a heated argument okay and there is absolute silence and in that silence there is a conversation that you have with yourself you observe your own self your own behavior and then you say ask yourself was i right was i wrong and if it was your mistake you realize it in that those moments of silence and then you come back and you say i'm sorry it was my mistake right but when does this whole happen the whole this whole thing happens especially when you move from you know in in that silence zone okay especially when you're not talking anything and the last important thing about the power of silence is improved sleep quality and the research has found that especially uh, the supplied sci uh, sci uh, psycho uh, psychophysiology and biofeedback revealed that individuals who are engaged in pre sleep silence so before you sleep if you meditate or if you are practicing meditation or if you spend some time quality time with your own self you you practice or engage yourself in some writing activities uh, you are more with yourself away from any gadgets then it definitely helps you in your sleep where there are if there are you know a lot of disturbances if you're experiencing you know it will reduce those disturbances and you'll have a quality sleep uh so sleep again is a very vast or subject where there are a lot of things to share but today we are not going to focus on that the only idea is to practice few moments of silence before you sleep okay and it is also very important to disconnect yourself at least 30 minutes before you sleep ideally it is one hour but at least if not one hour at least 30 minutes and once you disconnect allow yourself you are all thoughts to settle and before you hit the bed sit with yourself sit with yourself and even if you don't do anything okay just see observe like what is happening what are the thoughts and allow those thoughts to just settle and slowly slowly when you are at ease you're comfortable then you can go to sleep okay uh, there is a quick meditation experience that we can do okay before you sleep what you can do okay so uh, we'll just do that experiment now okay so as we are exploring this inner stillness i want you to sit back relaxed and comfortable and i want you to take your attention from your to a vacation or a holiday that was well spent i want you to take your attention back to that place see yourself there was it a hill station beach or some other place of your choice who accompanied you was it your friends family or someone special which season of the year which month what time of the day you are able to see yourself very clearly look at yourself look at the expressions on your face what was the conversation that you having at that time or were you just with yourself and see what was going on in your mind as if you were away from this world in a different world very happy very excited full of joy overflowing 
see your face full of joy and happiness. And deep inside, there was peace. There was lightness. And as you recall this experience now, you experience the same happiness, joy, and lightness. Now, I want you to bring your attention back in this room. And I want you to take a look at this entire day today. Since morning, what all activities you engaged yourself in and appreciate yourself for all the good things that you have done. If you have helped someone, encouraged someone, inspired someone, appreciate yourself and say good job. Now I want you to look at two people throughout this day whom you would like to express your gratitude. for whatever they have done for you. Look at them right in front of you and with a beautiful smile, say thank you. Say thank you. Now let us move further and look at an experience throughout the day or any, time, any experience that is not allowing you to focus a bad experience or a bad incident draining your energy. I want you to see that experience as it is. Look at the same scene. Look at the people. Hear the dialogues as it is. Feel that energy. I know it's not comfortable, but see it. Hear what you heard, see what you have seen, unfold it, unpack it. Let those emotions flow. And now with deep, deep take a deep breath. With a lot of positivity in, and as you breathe out, release all the negativity, stress and discomfort. Once again, take a deep breath, filling in with a lot of positivity. And as you breathe out, release all the negativity, stress, discomfort out. Once again, last time, take a deep breath, filling in a lot of positivity and let go this whole experience. This whole scene is over and out. Now reverse this entire scene and look at it in the positive light. Look at the scene through the positive lenses. Everything is just perfect. Very, very positive. Each and every one is so cooperative. I have a lot of respect for you, a lot of love for you. And you also have the same feelings for them. No regrets, no complaints, only appreciation, love, and regard. Spreading that positivity. Now you move ahead and pick up a good intention for the next day. How do I want to spend my next day tomorrow? More peaceful, happy, 
enjoying? What kind of thoughts? Now look at your day from morning as you wake up with the same feeling, very peaceful, happy, joyful, charged up, enthusiastic, whichever feeling. Look at yourself as you do each and every activity with the same feeling, with the same energy, radiating that lightness, that positivity around. And everyone you're meeting is experiencing that energy, that positivity, that power. And with this, slowly, slowly you come back. Take a deep breath. Thank you. So these were few steps how you can do meditation before you sleep. It is very, very simple. It is just getting into your space, allowing your thoughts to settle. But very important, what, what I did first was to transport yourself from present to past and go to the lane where you find peace, where you find happiness, where you find joy, some good memories. Once you come back with that, those memories, you feel really good, positive, powerful. So you have that energy. Okay. And next is to check your entire day, each and every activity. After that, you appreciate yourself and also express your gratitude to two people. Then you move forward. Some bad incidents that has happened throughout the day, you have to clear it immediately on the same day so that you don't carry this baggage the next day. So it is very important that I clear it today itself. Within 72 hours, give that turnaround time for yourself. And trust me, it works wonders. So that you're very, very light, you can stay focused, and you're really charged up, prepared for the next day, so that you can sleep well, okay? So look at this scene, which was not so good. Again, reverse that scene, see it in the positive light, set the intention for the next day, how you want to spend your day, and then you are good to go. So just few steps, okay? Remember the good memory, recall your day, appreciate yourself, appreciate two people, okay? Then bad scene, reverse it, and then set the intention for the next day. So just five simple steps. And trust me, if you do this personally, and if you share these steps with others, even they can be a very good meditator. It's very, very simple. You just have to close and follow these simple steps and you'll feel very, very good, very, very light. Okay. I hope everyone is with me. You can put it in the chat box. Let me know you're listening. Yes, no. Uh, is the language okay? Is the speed okay? Are you able to connect? Yes. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you, Sudipati. So let's continue. So the next is, how do we embrace silence in everyday life? Is it practically possible? How can I practice it? So incorporating silence into our daily routines is very much possible. Okay, so we'll look at our entire day, let's say, like we did this meditation, how to meditate before you sleep, okay? So let us move to the part where, how can we practice it throughout the day? And as I said, practicing silence is not difficult. Now, as you're sitting in silence for a while, like we did this exercise, the one before this, okay? Just sitting in silence for 10 seconds. Now, I did not give you any mantra. Did not, I did not give you any uh, guided commentary. Okay, no thoughts, okay, to guide you. It was just simply plain silence. You were not doing anything. I didn't give you any, I didn't ask you to do anything. You just hit that pause button and just relax. You can start with few deep breaths. Okay, and it's easy. And if you just do that one simple experiment also, one simple exercise also, even that can help you in many different ways. Okay, 
So we'll just look at one by one, okay, how to incorporate this silence in your daily lives. So first thing is your morning silence ritual. Make it a daily habit that kuch bhi ho jai, mujhe utte, hai. I have to sit with myself completely focused, silent. Okay. Say good morning to God and start your day and then start your morning routine. But very important is to sit in silence so that you experience that stillness. You can, as I said, you can start with focus on your breath. Then if you practice some positive affirmations, if you have some positive intentions for the day, you can start working on that. Okay. So very, very important is sitting in silence as soon as you wake up. Okay. And it could be, let's say, starting with two minutes, three minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. And that's how you can increase it. But very important is to start it. If you're doing it, great. If you're not doing it, make it a practice. It is make it a compulsion that yes, I have to do it. Have that very, very strong determined thought. Okay. Next is as you drive to office, make it a practice to commute daily and practice silence. Most of the times we engage ourselves in conversations, listening to music, some audio books, podcasts, whatever. But allow some time, okay? Maybe if you are driving, if you love music, maybe you can you know, listen to music while going, while returning, you can practice this silence comfort. And trust me, it will help you a lot because allow those thoughts to settle. Be mindful, observe, look around. And that will help you know yourself better. And it is going to uplift you. It will allow you to uh, uh, charge yourself. And those moments of silence will help you reflect. And the more you reflect, the more you introspect, it will help you understand better, solve your problems better. And it will allow you to be more, more and more creative. And it's wonderful experience when you spend time with yourself, especially when you're traveling. And there's a wonderful flow of ideas, especially I have seen that personally when I'm traveling and especially when I'm alone. Uh, there are some interesting ideas that strike my mind and uh, we are very creative. Otherwise, it would have been very difficult for me. But especially when I'm traveling, when I'm just with myself, I have found that it is uh, a great experience spending time with yourself, doing nothing and just observing your thoughts and uh, pondering upon maybe the challenges that you have or any task or any project that you're working on. And uh, you'll have some interesting ideas, some interesting thoughts, and you'll see the power of your own creativity. So uh, next is something very, very interesting, something very, 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 very important, which is silent meal time. So, at least at least one meal a day make it a point that you don't talk just spend your, your time with yourself you can be more and more mindful of paying attention to the taste to the texture uh, to the you know aroma of each bite okay as you're touching each and everything feel it touch it smell it use all your senses as you're doing this activity so that you're so much connected and also you could do one best practices to fill it with a lot of positive thoughts, positive vibrations, we call it, and see the magic of it. So wherever your attention goes, that energy flows. So that energy, let it be more and more pure, more and more positive, filled with very, very good thoughts. And you see that your mind will automatically be silent. It will be more powerful and it could do things or wonders that you have never thought. So silent meal time, and very important, if you can have, uh, I mean, this is again, very, very personal, but again, uh, you can try different types of diets also, especially uh, if you want to really experience or experiment with food and see what is the quality of thoughts, especially when you're eating cooked food, and especially when you're having uh, maybe fruits, or especially when you're having salads, 
So just observe, experiment, and see how or what is the quality of your thoughts. Okay, and how you feel when you have such meals. Okay. Next is silent walks. So now not necessary that everyone is staying at a beach or in jungle somewhere. Okay. But even a, a, a walk in the garden or anywhere, especially when you are just with yourself. So you can leave your phone aside and just spend some quality time with your own self, listening to the sounds around, rhythm of your footsteps, uh, looking at people around, looking at the uh, you know uh, different things, looking at the colors very closely, looking at people, looking at I mean each and everything around. Just connect yourself with them, with the nature, under the open sky. Feel your presence in this world. See how you're walking on the ground. So it, it just feels so different. Now you have, I, I'm sure I know, maybe you have a very busy routine, but still you can have some time for yourself, especially, uh, let's say you're going by car to office, park your car so at a distance where maybe you have to take a walk and see how it feels. So maybe you could work that out, but again, uh, you should decide that I want to do this, I have to do this, and this is something just for yourself, your appointment with yourself, so that you spend some good time with yourself, okay? And see how what is the kind of conversation that you have with yourself very often. Is it always near, uh, good, bad, complaining? Uh, what, if, what is the quality of thoughts that you're surrounded with? Next is technology detox. Set aside specific times for technology detox. Especially, you can start with every night, at least one hour before you sleep. Disconnect yourself from the technology because working in IT, your screen time is very, very high. N number of hours, you can just count how many hours I'm connected on screen, you know, either on your laptop, your mobile phones, tablets. So you just have to give break to yourself away from the screen one hour before you sleep, two hours after you wake up, turn off the notifications. If possible, keep your mobile phones in some other room when you sleep. So make your room radiation free and see what it does to you, to your mental health, to your sleep. You'll see the drastic change. So in that quiet time, you can engage yourself, reading, journaling, practicing meditation, like what we did right now. And uh, you'll, you'll enjoy that time with yourself. Uh, even before you sleep, if you have the practice of journaling, uh, we'll talk about it in a while. Uh, or else you can just plan, uh, write down your plan for the next day. So it will help you save a lot of time, a lot of time. And uh, you'll feel much relaxed so that there's no stress at all. Okay. You know what you're supposed to do next on the uh, you know the next day, and it will keep you at ease. Okay. Next is uh, you can also have some quiet spaces at home. This is the space where you could meditate, you could sit with yourself, you could do journaling, you could uh, you know have that space which is away from any distraction, any noise, and uh, where you are very 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 comfortable. Okay. So these spaces are also quite interesting. If you're able to create it, great. If not, uh, look at the spaces in and around your house, maybe in the garden somewhere here or in office, especially where you could meet yourself, connect with yourself. Mindful listening. Next is mindful listening. So you can practice mindful listening in your daily interactions. What is mindful listening now? Mindful listening is uh, being more active and engaged, okay? Especially when the person is speaking to you. So you listen attentively, okay? So don't be in the haste of interrupting someone, allow them to finish, be more empathetic, okay? And listen to that person very, very carefully. Understand and see what he's saying or she's saying beyond the words. What is the energy you're feeling? If someone is, you know, maybe 
uh, we mostly we just listen to the person but we fail to acknowledge their feelings their emotions i was not well and i was not able to finish the task but did i acknowledge that do you even ask that person i hope you're okay today we just ignore or we don't just acknowledge it. So it is very important that as you're listening, listen carefully, listen mindfully. Next is bedtime reflection. Now, end of the day with each moment of silence, reflection before sleep, uh, very important to review your day, express gratitude, release any lingering thoughts or worries like we did the meditation exercise and make yourself very, very, very peaceful. Do the activities which will allow you to connect with yourself, make you more and more comfortable. So there is no noise around and you're in that silent zone. Okay. Uh, even you can practice this. Uh, I don't know how much it is possible for you, but uh, a routine wherein you, you stop talking to people, especially half an hour before you sleep. And after at least after, after you wake up at least one hour, see uh, what it does to you. Okay. It's simple exercise, uh, experiment, but just try it out once. At least wait for a week's time and see how it is helping you. So uh, all these practices which I have shared with you, okay. Uh, now, you have to work and tailor these strategies to suit your daily preferences, your lifestyle, especially if you're working in different shifts. Maybe if you're working in for different clients, different locations, you know, different timings. So you have to uh, work around the timings and see how you can incorporate these moments of silence in your routine. And it's very much possible. Okay, because most of us, we are doing this as a daily practice. And uh, trust me, it has actually helped us in many, many ways. It has actually, uh, I remember before I started meditation or I was associated with Rama Kumaris, uh, there was a time that I used to visit doctor quite often. And after I joined uh, Rama Kumaris, I started meditation. And I realized that I used to have uh, uh, back pain here. And uh, I never knew like why, why it was this. And somewhere it was connected to stress somehow. And uh, I realized that after many months, I guess almost a year or two, that I used to have a, a backache here. And uh, it suddenly disappeared. It suddenly disappeared. And I was like having no clue how it disappeared. And then I realized, oh, this is the magic of meditation. This is the magic of, you know, uh, how you spend time with yourself, you connect uh, time, you know, you, you make time in your routine to just connect with yourself, connect with the divine and experience that power. And this power is really, really magical. You just can't imagine how it helps us. It is healing. It is energizing. It is uplifting. It is, it is just wonderful. You just ex can't express the benefits in few words or few sentences. You just have to experience it. So uh, let us move to the next exercise. And these are going to be reflective exercises. Uh, just two, two questions, okay? One is, I want you to reflect on a recent moment when you felt truly at peace and content. So you can just take a deep breath, close your eyes. And as you close your eyes, I repeat, I want you to reflect on a moment when you felt truly at peace and content. Was this experience most recent one? I want you to describe it. 
and describe this experience and identify what factors contributed that sense of inner calm. Describe the experience and identify what factors contributed to that sense of inner calm. Describe that experience to yourself as you're sitting in silence. Thank you. As you find time, uh, you can do this experiment. Uh, if it is wonderful, I mean, uh, if you just you know write down this question again on a piece of paper, you go back and you grab a pen and paper, you start writing it. And uh, when you start writing, there will be a lot of things that will unfold, unpack, and let those feelings flow out on the piece of paper. Now, it is a wonderful, a very good practice especially if you have the habit of writing, great. If not, uh, I'll just share one or two experiences with you. And these experiences were of, these experiences were, you know, coincidentally both are doctors. And uh, long back, there was this lady, a uh, skin specialist, and uh, she was going through a tough time in life and uh, not practicing meditation, but just, uh, known uh, she knew like i have been practicing meditation and wanted to connect and share her problems with me and uh, was seeking some assistance to her problems so uh, i was also caught up with the project and had uh, very little time and very difficult to manage the timings and you know connect over the call and have this conversation at length so i asked her since it is very difficult to connect at same time uh, can you do a favor? And I'll just give you one exercise. Just uh, see how you feel. And uh, if it works, great. If not, then we'll connect a week later. So this is what I asked her to do. And uh, she said that, I, I told her that you just pick up a base of paper, a pen and a paper, and start writing down everything that is going on in your mind. Don't worry about your handwriting. Don't worry about spelling mistakes or don't worry about who is going to read this or not. You just do this exercise for yourself and just go on writing. And uh, whenever you feel good, comfortable, you just leave it. Again, come back. Again, continue. And uh, do this exercise for two, three days. And uh, then we connect after a week's time. And uh, I left it there. And it was just a day's time. And on the next day itself, this lady, she calls up and she says that I have done this exercise. I'm feeling much, much better. And I realized one thing that is most of the problems that I see in my life are just because of me. That was the realization, a very strong realization. And she said that most of the problems that I see are very much solvable. I just have to... Uh, plan few things and I think everything will be perfect. Everything will be all right. So most of the times what happens is we rely on people, we rely on situations to change. But it is very important for me to take out that time, sit with myself and do that inner work. Again, by asking right questions to ourselves. So this is just one experiment, okay, uh, that we did right now by asking one question. There's another question that we'll do it together. And uh, I also want to share another experience. There was another doctor and a very young chap. A uh, young chap, again, was in a relationship, uh, didn't work, and in a very bad shape. And in a, such a situation where he used to get anxiety attacks, couldn't sleep at night, and uh, this fellow was desperately looking for some help, didn't want to go uh, I mean, tried medication as well, and it wasn't working. And he was not so comfortable talking to anyone about these problems and all. So he thought of sharing it with me. And again, I was not able to meet this guy as well and uh, or talk to him. But I just helped. I, I Over the call itself, I said, just do one thing. Uh, set a timer for five minutes. 
grab a pen and paper. I asked him to do the same exercise. And I said, let's connect after five minutes. So it was quite interesting that I asked him to do this exercise. And uh, after five minutes, again, we connected. And I asked him, like, how was your experience? And he said, I'm feeling very light. I was feeling very good. And very innocently, he asked one thing. He said, uh, if you don't mind, can I do it again? And I said, of course, you can. Uh, so it was uh, a good realization, a good experience that you just need com your own company and your own company is sufficient to deal with biggest challenges of your life. Right? So let's move to the second reflective exercise. And uh, the next question is, what are your biggest sources of stress in your life? What are your biggest, what are your biggest sources of stress in your life? So again, you can take a moment to reflect on how incorporating silence or mindfulness practice can help you better manage and reduce these stresses. So you can just close your eyes and you can just look at yourself. What are the biggest sources of stress in your life? And by taking moments to reflect in silence, do you see any way to reduce the stress or manage the stress? So let us sit back. Relaxed and comfortable. And look at yourself as a tiny sparkling star shining bright in the center of your forehead. The star is so beautiful, spreading white, bright light. And look, look at this light, which is full of peace, spreading the fragrance of peace all over my face. Look at the sparkling star spreading light all over your face. And look at your face glowing with white, bright light. And slowly, slowly, this light is spreading in your entire body. Look at each and every cell of your body filled with this white light of peace. Each and every organ each and every cell is full of light. And slowly, slowly, I see this light spreading outside my body. And I see myself in this aura of light, which is so bright, very peaceful. Look at the sparkling star. Look at this light in the body and the light outside the body. The light inside my body is healing me. I'm very strong, healthy, and very, very powerful. And this light outside body is protecting me from all odds and difficult situations. I'm safe and secure, full of peace, full of light. 
experiencing that light and stillness. Feel that light and that energy in your body. Take a deep breath and bring your attention back. Thank you. Om Shanti. Thank you so much, brother, for this wonderful session. You have explained very beautifully with your personal experience, like how Raj Yoga meditation helping us to heal mind as well as heal the body. So all the participants must go into clarity how we can experience silence through meditation. Now it's time for question and answer session. I would request Sister Smita to coordinate this question and answer session. Welcome, Sister Smita. Om Shanti. Thank you, Sister Sukhna. Uh, I request all the participants to place the questions in the chat box. If anyone has any questions, they can raise their hand. We can unmute them also. Thank you. If anyone has any questions, they can also raise their hands and we'll unmute and uh, you can go ahead with the question. You can take the one, two minutes as well. I'm sure that was a uh, wonderful session. Tapping into your know, listening to the tune of silence here. Yeah. Anyone? I guess everyone is uh, enjoying their silence. Wonderful session, yes. Thank you. Thank you. So great uh, to see that uh, you like the session and uh, thank you so much for your appreciation. Uh, it is just that, you know, we have to incorporate these moments of silence or uh, practice more of it so that we see maximum benefit and uh, you can be a source of inspiration for others also as you practice it right and uh, even when uh, you're working especially when you are very very peaceful very calm people won't understand but they'll enjoy your company i remember there was one of my colleagues especially uh you know i mean almost uh, 12, 13 years back, or especially, uh, you know, I used to work, I mean, I was at my workstation and there was one of my colleagues, he used to come and he used to sit next to me. And uh, I asked him a couple of times, like, Abhay, you have some work? I mean, can how can I help you? And he was like, no, no, I, I don't need anything. I'm okay. And then he used to come and he used to sit and he used to bang my head on uh, his head on my shoulder like this, like, you know, I mean, I was like, what's wrong with you? Are you okay? And he was like, no, I, I, mean, I just feel good. I mean, just allow me to do that. And I was like, okay. And maybe sometimes he was like very stressed out. He used to come and uh, he was just enjoying that company. And I was like, okay, uh, of same age and uh, quite young. So we used to have a very good chat and uh, spend good time with each other as colleagues. And uh, uh, that is how maybe that I, I felt that how we do something and that whole energy is just not for us, but it is for the world. And uh, if you do it, if you don't do it, people will experience that energy and are pulled in that 
uh, positivity, that peace, and it is a wonderful way to help them silently. Thank you, brother. Brother, there are two questions. Okay. Brother, it is increasing now. I'll just scroll to the first one. It says, please guide how, uh, what types of foods can help us to stay calm? Food, okay. Good question. So, uh, uh, thank you so much for this question. And uh, very important is a vegetarian diet. Even in vegetarian also, uh, there are foods, okay, especially if you are eating a lot of fried food, it is best to avoid or not to eat because even the oil that you eat nowadays is all processed. So see if you can have a lot of natural oil that goes in your body, okay? Like groundnuts or coconut, you know, like the sources of uh, natural oil, which actually helps our body a lot. And then uh, season. I mean, there are different ways, again, how you cook it and all. Uh, there is one uh, a, a channel that I have been following on YouTube and uh, uh, I remember when I went to RC uh, last time and uh, I uh, remember Sister Shivani, she inspired me to attend this session and it was a three-hour workshop and she was like, uh, along with two other sisters, surrendered sisters, and uh, I was also a part of it. So she was like, you go and you attend this session. And uh, that session actually helped me a lot uh, about food, about how to eat food, what kind of foods to eat. And I was around uh, 72 kgs, 78, not 72, 72 kgs, I'm sorry. And I was able to shed almost 10 kgs in just two months time, just changing my diet. And of course, I was doing some physical exercises, uh, not doing the uh, gym and all, but it was more of yoga, uh, Surya Namaskar and all. So that I followed and I it actually helped me reduce 10 kgs in just two months. And I was like, I was shocked. I was like, I was just doing it. And I, I decided that, okay, I'll not, you know, weigh myself unless I feel that I'm, I have reduced uh, good enough. But I was, I felt so good that I was able to wear my old clothes. I was uh, feeling very, very light. I, I could sleep well. I could uh, wake up early. Uh, I mean, though we wake up early, but I, way too early, I was able to wake up and I was feeling absolutely light and fresh. So uh, these are a few things that you can do is to avoid fried food. Uh, no milk, packet milk, no sugar, absolutely no. Replace it. And I used to have, I was a complete teetotaler. Almost eight cups was minimum tea that I used to have. Tea, sometimes coffee. And I was kind of addicted. Um, like, we don't use this word for tea, but yes, I felt like maybe I was having too much of uh, tea. And uh, I, it was very difficult and beyond my imagination to have, leave tea. I never thought I'd do that. But uh, one good thing which I uh, learned is, you know, to not leave it, replace it with something. So maybe you could have, uh, you know, you, you boil water and have uh, the hibiscus uh, petals or rose petals. You have some drink like that. And uh, trust me, the aroma itself is uh, so amazing that you, you just, just forget tea. I mean, there's a very simple way to do it, you know, uh, and uh, you'll enjoy that drink the hot drink with some, uh, some, you know, something interesting, something in a creative way. You feel good when you're doing it also. So if you have time, you can definitely do that. Replace it, don't leave it, okay? Milk, I would say you forget milk. It is not at all good for our health and packet milk is absolutely no. So by avoiding these couple of things, trust me, you'll, you'll feel very good, very light. And uh, I remember, I'm sorry, I'm sharing a lot of experiences here. But there was one uh, driver who used to pick and drop, you know, when I was doing one training program at one organization. And when I was doing this diet plan and all, I shared it with him also. And uh, I, 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 and he said that I, uh, I met him after I, almost a month and a half after we discussed. And he said, sir, I left sugar. And uh, you won't believe, uh, after I left sugar, he said that my... Uh, stomach, you know, he said that it has decreased in inches and it's very difficult if you see, if you ask a gym going guy okay, who is very new, 
it is how difficult it is to you know reduce your belly in inches but if you just do that one thing also it was it has shown a drastic improvement and a difference in uh, your health so yes there it's a very long topic maybe we can have another session on health and uh, what are the tips and tricks to follow and uh, what are the changes that you can bring in your lifestyle and trust me it works magic uh, it is sattvic moment you can follow it on youtube sattvic moment yes okay, okay. When do I meditate just before uh, I go to bed? Then I felt sleep more. Is that okay or any advice? Uh, no. Uh, <clears throat> when you want to sleep, uh, meditate before sleep. Of course, uh, when you freshen up and when you're all set to hit the bed, uh, that is the time maybe you can just sit with yourself, tune. As I said, we did what ex the exercise that we did today. you can follow the same steps or you can just sit in silence with yourself reflecting on the entire day uh, expressing gratitude and then just going to bed so you can do it yes. not lying in bed but you sit and then you do meditation and then lie down brother there is a question earlier posted when anyone make repeated mistakes intentionally how to remain mentally silent Question is, can you actually remain silent? A uh, very good question. And uh, yesterday I was uh, reading one. Uh, uh, you know, there is uh, uh, the spiritual study that we do, and I came across this uh, chapter. There was a similar question, like, how can I, you know, uh, forgive someone who is doing a lot of mistakes? Is to be more loveful. if you have love for that person there won't be hate so it is easy for you to forgive that person let's say if you love someone and how many mistakes that person make you'll still forgive you'll say that it that's okay i don't mind so why because you don't have love for that person and that love is more um, you know the more uh, the pure love that we're talking about having good intentions good feelings for that person having a lot of respect for that person so if you incorporate these values in your life trust me your life becomes very very beautiful and uh, as i said you just have to have a lot of respect and uh, you just have to accept accommodate you know maybe you can uh, of course talk to that person open a dialogue communicate see what the problem is and i'm sure you'll find a solution together but very important is to have a lot of respect and love for that person I and mean, that's what i would recommend maybe sisters are also here so uh, sisters can also share your ideas your thoughts and give more your inputs yeah. okay sure <laughs> we'll be <laughs> brainstorming uh, then we will come up with something surely okay. and it just uh, there is interesting uh, question it is an absolute yes or no question kind of thing should conversion to vegetarian may solve for all our problems inside uh it's a good question now if you ask me i would say 100% yes okay because uh, see vegetarian diet is of course uh, very very helpful there are a lot of books a lot of presentations and a lot of articles published presentations and papers published on this topic so need not get into the details of it but vegetarian diet is definitely going to help you create some beautiful thoughts for yourself it actually helps us uh, have uh, we are actually protecting nature in a way okay like uh, having this pure diet will help you with your uh, good health it will help you with good mind so when you have your good mind and good health automatically you'll attract lot of happiness in your life so that's what i would say in nutshell okay. brother there is a, another question suppose i have a deadline to meet and i know there's too much in the plate if, uh, to complete before uh, just before i mean the deadline may, i may not meet the deadline so can i be in silence 
uh, I would say uh, that silence shouldn't suffer, you know, you shouldn't suffer in that silence. Like I remember, you know, reading this uh, quote, you know, you can give your best and leave the rest. So if you think that you have given your best and that was the best thing that you could do, then you shouldn't, then you should be in absolutely silence. That's fine. But that silence shouldn't make you feel as if you have, uh, you know, uh, as if you are not good or uh, not competent enough to complete the task or anything. But you should have a valid justification why you are not able to complete. I guess communication here plays a very important role. How you're communicating or putting it across to your clients or putting it across to your boss. I guess it is more about managing yourself, managing your time and uh, tasks. I mean, you can increase your silence by just being more aware. Huh. Of silence is actually going to help you have a, a good positive self-talk, you can say, so that you don't feel as if you have done a big mistake. That is where silence will allow you that it is okay. And uh, maybe it is not always that I do it, but maybe you can contemplate on it and uh, you see what you find out. So yeah, actually, the deadline, that was a personal question. <laughs> okay, I will explore that. Okay. okay, brother, these are all the questions we are having for the session. Uh, I may request, the. I, I have a question for the participants. How many of you have done this? Uh, we have this foundation, 70 foundation Raj Yoga meditation course uh, being offered uh, at Brahma Kumaris. Uh, have any of you taken this course before? You may raise your hands. Okay. Aranan. So, yes, uh, I am sure all of us here have benefited from the clarity uh, that Brother Datta has given us. So, of course, it uh, comes with a lot of effort and uh, practice. So, here in Brahma Kumaris, we offer a seven day fundamental meditation course at all our Brahma Kumaris centers. You can reach your nearest Brahma Kumari centers. You can see the detail of the centers in the webpage www brahmakumaris.com or you can write us write to us we will help you our uh, gmail id uh, i'll just post it in the chat box thank you om shanti i request sister swapna to take over uh, thank you sister smita and one more announcement is there like uh, uh, we have inner technology national residential conference uh, on inner resilience for all the IT professionals. Uh, venue is at Brahma Kumari's conference hall, Santivan, that is at Mount Tabu. So those who are interested to participate in this conference, they can register and uh, they can participate. And keynote speaker in our IT wing conference is Sister Sivani. So all are welcome to register and participate in this conference. Now uh, I would request uh, Brother Pitabas to give vote of thanks. Om Shanti. Good evening all. At the outset, I thank the Almighty Authority, the Supreme Father Sibhava for giving us this beautiful evening and opportunity to dive deep into the webinar topic, listening to the tune of silence and experience the power of life, silence. I would like to thank the, our IT wing leaders, the chairperson of IT wing, Raj Yogini Brahma Kumar is Dr. Nirmala Didiji, IT wing coordinator at headquarter, Raj Yogi Brahma Kumar Yasmandwaiji. Their blessings and guidance are enabling us to organize this program smoothly. I would like to thank our local regional leaders, the local leaders who have been supporting, well been guiding, inspiring us to carry out such programs. Rajogini Brahma Kumari Nandidiji, the head of Bhubaneswar Subzone, and Rajogini Brahma Kumari Golapidiji, the center in charge for Tiyar Bhubaneswar. 
she is uh, she has she has been she has gone to Madhuban now. So on her behalf, I am giving this word of thanks. And they have been giving us continuous inspirations and support for to carry out such programs. I would like to thank the, our esteemed speaker, Brother Tata, for giving time from his busy schedule and sharing his insights on, on this topic. And uh, just to tell you, we, I, I got his contact number, uh, I think 1st of July con connected with him, uh, got a contact number through uh, Sister Savita. And in short time, we could uh, finalize the topic and uh, plan for this event. It's just uh, 1st of July, today 15th, we just within in a short span of 15 days, we could organize that. Thank you, brother. And I just wanted to call out a few of these the steps, the items, key takeaways from these meetings, from this webinar. The brother explained the five simple steps for the meditations. Also talked about the incorporating silence into daily routine. The examples, morning rituals, morning silence rituals, silence during commute, silent meal time, silent work, and so on, so on. Also, he touched upon the reflective exercises. Also, give many examples from the various people how they have benefited. I'm sure these tips will help us enhancing our the creativity and problem solving abilities. And the most importantly, deeper connections and improved communications with others. Thank you, brother for this wonderful webinar. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. In addition, I would like to thank our the hosting team, the Sister Sopna, Sister Smita, and all organizing team members supporting this event directly or indirectly behind the scene. Most importantly, I would like to thank all, the, all of you, the participant who have taken time from your busy schedule to join this event. I hope these learnings will go a long way in our life. Thank you for joining. And thank you again. Thank you. Thanks to our Supreme Father, Sri Baba, for having this, or enabling us for this program. Thank you all. Om Shanti. Okay.
शक्ति 